Hi, here is Lillian from Denmark. I just want to show you my client Michael and how his reactions are on my coaching of him. He has got the Parkinson's disease and has had it for 10 years. And uh, here's what he say after I've been coaching him for um, a long time. But uh, he's showing some progress because he's not so stressed anymore. So I hereby invite you to listen to what he's telling about his situation and what he thinks about the Parkinson's disease after I have received some coaching from me. Hi, Michael. Hi. You have the Parkinson's disease. How was you diagnosed? I was diagnosed 10 years ago and um, it was a scanning in, of our brain that showed uh, more activity in the one side uh, and it was uh, looked at as uh, a reason why uh, they could say I, ha I had Parkinson. And how many times have you stepped up in medicine? I've stepped up uh, several times, uh, maybe 10 or 15 times and now I take four different kinds of drugs or what it's called you, I have been coaching you for one and a half year. Uh, what is happening during this one and a half year? My symptoms uh, have been uh, smaller. Uh, uh, the shake of my right arm and my, my left leg has uh, decreased. Uh, so it's only 20-30 percent of what it was one and a half years ago um, and I've been aware of what it is uh, what, what uh, provokes uh, my, my symptoms what, what is the, the reason and I, I uh, can see it's a uh, different kinds of stress which um, uh, uh, makes makes the symptoms come yes. And do you eat the same dose of medicine as one and a half years ago? No, I have a, I, I eat a, less, a bit less, so I think it's about one of the drugs, one of the medicaments is about 50% of what I took when it was most. Um, so. Uh, There's still a, a lot of a lot of medicine I can I can try to uh, to to step down with the doses. And can we see your hands? How how uh, long time ago is it that you ate your medicine the last time? It is about three or four hours ago. And um, yes, there's there's no. No shaking now. Um, uh, uh, about eight hours ago, I was a bit stressed about something. I, I, some of my home homework I, from from my job I should do, and um, I was thinking of what I have to do tomorrow. And there's a lot of things I should, I should do tomorrow, and then I got a bit stressed, and my hands start shaking. And I then convinced myself that uh, I could, I should get rid of these thoughts because they wouldn't help me anyway. I, I, I have to, to face the problems tomorrow, so there's no reason to think about it now. And then my shaking stopped. So I've been very aware of what, what is the, what is the trigger that uh, makes the symptoms come, come through. What do you think about your future and Parkinson? Um, I think I, I, 
uh, I've got a lot of power uh, 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 from the results I have reached the last one and a half year. So I um, I want to go on with the fight and find new ways maybe that can help me to get uh, rid of the symptoms to make them smaller and smaller. Um, so I am. Um, a bright future. I think I it's a it's an ex, ex a challenge. It's a challenge to to uh, work with the symptoms and uh, hopefully make them more more less and less. Uh, uh, yeah. Symptoms. Symptoms. Yes. And one and a half years when I met you, uh, what was your thought about Parkinson at that time? At that time, I I, <clears throat> I had a lot of uh, power uh, that I w wanted to to use to um, to work with my Parkinson to make it better, but I I I was a bit stuck. I couldn't find out which way to go and. Uh, uh, I needed some inspiration and uh, some some support for, for uh, to for, to find out what what I could do. And to think that you got that from me coaching you. Yes, clearly, uh, uh, I got uh, the inspiration and uh, and um, and. Um, uh, I was convinced that I could uh, could do something, um, so I get out of this stuck situation. Uh, yes. What is your wish today? My wish today is to is to, to develop, um, to get even better, uh, to make the symptoms smaller, and hopefully. Maybe I will totally get rid of, of the symptoms. And what do you think the chances are for you to get better? I think the chances are good, but I also think that it takes time. Uh, and I think of that as 10 years ago, I, I found out I had Parkinson, so maybe I should res accept that maybe it takes 10 years to get rid of it. But I think I'm the right, the right direction and I just have to have patience and then... And what do you think about us that it took one and a half years to uh, get that this much better? Well, I think it's a big step. It is uh, um, more than I hoped. So, uh, it's a big step forward and, uh, and I just wanted to uh, go on at this speed. So if it does, yeah, I'll be very satisfied. I think it's possible. Is there something you want to say to people around the world about Parkinson? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Parkinson is a disease which you can do something with. You don't have to accept it, but it means you have to work with yourself and it's very psychological. Um, it, it depends much of, of, of psychological uh, behavior or what you call it. So, um, uh, and you should never give up, um, but there are different tools and it's of course it's good to to find some people who can uh, help um, give inspiration to wh which way you can go to to get better feel better thank you